there's the dolphins. We're checking in for the real shark tour. We're diving. Some dolphins coming here. Here, yes, you are coming here. This is the dolphin center it's like you get to swim with dolphins and there's different activities. shuttles one of those weighs about one ton in size so take about 15 of those and you have yourself what? the weight of a full-grown whale shark okay they are enormous they are beautiful they are the gentle giants of the ocean of course they are filter feeders so they snack on krill plankton fish eggs and little children yay <laughs> uh anyway nothing to worry about they don't care for meat so don't worry you're not going anywhere uh, of course, riddle me this. The name can be a little confusing for most. Is it a whale or is it a shark and why? It's a shark because it's fin. A whale's is like mammal's fin is like they move up and down and then fish they move sideways. Very well. They are of course a shark because of four <laughs> reasons. Number one, they breathe by way of... Huh? Long gills. Gills, gills. Oh, yeah. And number two, the presence of a dorsal fin up top. Number three, the tail. Of course, vertical, not horizontal like a whale. And last but not least, they do not have bone, but cartilage. And therefore, are classified as a shark and not a whale. The name whale shark comes from the sheer size of the whale shark. And if you are at all concerned about other creatures in the water, please rest assured. The whale shark has no natural predators whatsoever. Oh, no Which of predator. course is pretty ironic because they are completely harmless, but their That's size will scare everyone else away just by just by size. Okay, so nothing to worry about. Not, not even the kiwi whale. Monday? Not even the kiwi whale. No. They're super. It's like they go under the radar like a ghost. Oh. Only when they're like babies. Oh. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, tell me this. What it? Yes. Don't they die and then they sink it to the bottom of the We're ocean gonna... and then some of the animals eat it? We're going to get there in a moment. Oh, okay. All in good time. <laughs> okay. What will be this? What is the unique identifier of each whale shark? Spots. The spots of a whale shark. Meaning, if by some... Well, don't make it your number one goal, but if you happen to get a photo of the left side of the whale shark, right behind the fin, it's an air about 30 centimeters. That is their unique fingerprint. And if you get a photo, please share it with us. This way we can track our whale sharks and see where they're going and try to find out a little more. Okay. And so if not, don't worry. But if you happen to and you don't want to share it, you can actually hop online and upload your photo onto several websites to try and see if your whale shark has been tracked and keep an eye on your whale shark as it moves around the world. Okay? <clears throat> wow, how interesting. Which side is that? 
the left side. The left side. The left, left side. Okay. okay. Some folks jump out the water. Sorry? Their left side. This is the whale shark, so that's I don't know if we're gonna explain that. Some people jump out the water super excited. Oh my god, there's whale shark babies everywhere. No. There are no whale shark babies in the area, please calm down. What they're referring to are little fish about this size called remora shark suckers. Of course, one of many symbiotic relationships shared by the whale shark. Of course, they cling to the belly and the bottom of the whale shark, feeding while simultaneously cleaning the whale shark. Yeah. So please don't get too excited. No babies here in La Paz. All right? Mm -hmm. No touching of the whale shark whatsoever. If you touch the whale shark, you are out of the water immediately. No if, ands, or buts. Not a conversation. No discussion. Uh, the reason, of course. <coughs> Whale sharks have traveled a really long way to be here, and when you touch them, you make them real uncomfortable, you scare them, and as a matter of fact, <laughs> just always do that. Okay. Uh, they only have two ways to protect themselves. Number one, their skin. If you've been with the, with the dolphins, our dolphins, uh, you should know that whale shark skin is not smooth like a dolphin. Really, it's uh, covered in something called dermal denticles, which feels like sandpaper, like a cat's tongue, but a whole lot rougher. And so actually, there have been reported cases of humans touching whale sharks in a very aggressive way and leaving with something resembling a burn mark that stays that way for about three to four weeks. Whatever you do, please, please, please keep your hands to yourself. The other way of protection is their tail, and we'll talk about that in a moment. <clears throat> but for right now, in uh, just a few hours, this little dot right here will be you alongside the largest fish in the ocean. Okay. All right, for those wondering, do whale sharks have teeth or no? No. Yes. No. 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 If the answer is not no, the answer is yes. Yes. Yeah, whale sharks have 300 rows of super tiny, minuscule, millimeter-sized teeth, equaling about 3,000 teeth in total. This, along with so many other things, remains a grand mystery. Whale sharks spend most of their time thousands of feet down below, making research really, really complicated. But there are two main theories. Number one, if you've been on the whale watching tour, you may have heard that humpback whales, for example, about 55 million years ago, we're half land, half land, half half water creatures over time evolving to become full cetaceans or marine mammals. Some believe that perhaps thousands of years ago the whale shark had some purpose for their teeth over time falling to the wayside and now they simply have the super tiny remains. Others, up until about six months ago, believe that perhaps during procreation the teeth might have been used because whale sharks do not communicate. They don't hang out together. They don't travel together. They don't do anything together. For the most part, they're loners doing whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. If you want to, it's not for everyone, but I have a map showing two whale charts in Cancun at the end of the season going in completely different directions, completely different uh, paths. No one knows why. As a matter of fact, I'm working on a conservation project with Cancun Adventures to try and track some whale sharks in Cancun because over there we have the largest congregation in the world. And so we're trying to figure out why it is they go where they go. If you want to help, you can find me afterwards and let me know if you'd like some more information. Okay? Either way, <clears throat> if you are worried about being swallowed by a whale shark, let me put your mind at ease. The throat of a whale shark is about the size of a golf ball, meaning you are absolutely not going anywhere, I promise. And if by some miraculous reason you do end up in the mouth of the whale shark, well, it's never happened before, so it'll be the first time ever and we'll make headline news together. <laughs> okay. I'll be excited over that. All right. Controls of the whale shark, meaning the eyes are located. No one? On the side of the head, simply meaning when you are in front.
respond to them, they cannot see, see you. you. Two responsibilities. Number one, keep your hands to yourself. And number two, please move out of the way of the whale shark <laughs> unless oh. you want that mouth coming at you open or closed, which for first timers can be a little terrifying. Please remember, they don't have swift turns like other sharks. They take their time in everything they do. So even if they smell you, they're still gonna really take their time and probably bump into you, okay? So please remember, move out of the way, okay? All right, now, once you've made your way out of the whale shark's path, on the side, excuse me, on the side, you'll find the eyes right over here, about the size of a marble. I like to call these Mona Lisa eyes. They just kind of follow you in the water as you do your thing. Don't worry, they're totally fine. So we're gonna start with this one here. After that, you'll find a little hole called a spurkle. Researchers believe that little hole, along with their gills, might further aid in breathing when thousands of feet down below. And of course, after that, five beautiful large gills on both sides that move all the time. When you reach the gills, please don't miss your chance to take a look as it moves. You can see quite a bit into the body of the whale shark just by watching them breathe. And of course, at the back end of the whale shark, you will find the tail. The tail. Now remember, their skin and their tail is the only way of protection. So when you reach the back end, please move out of the way of the tail. Trust me, it is a hit that you will never forget. I have a scar from about six months ago still. So please, please watch that tail at all times. When whale sharks get watch really uncomfortable tail. or they feel threatened, that is when they will use their tail. So just a little caution back there, okay?
what, what happened six months ago off the coast of Ningaloo Reef in Australia. Where's the boat? Uh, there was a researcher hanging out and he noticed two whale sharks spending quite some time together. And he was like, that's very odd, remember? They're solo travelers, what are they doing? He decided to stick around and thank God he did because he was the first person ever to get a photo of whale sharks in the act of procreation. And that just happened six months ago. As it turns out, the teeth had nothing to do with it whatsoever. Basically, the male annoyed the female for quite some time until finally she caved, at which point the male flipped upside down because their sexual organs are right down here on their belly, two claspers, claspers, yep, and the female went right above him, they connected belly to belly. When they die, what happens? They float around the surface for a few days until all the air is out of their body, at which point they will sink to the bottom of the ocean where they will be divulged by little creatures down below. Okay? Too much. Uh, I think you're okay. Don't worry. Put, put some more. Um. No. Why do you do that? Approach, <laughs> uh, Michelle. He's happy. Put him on. He's hungry. Ready to see his friend, Chucky. <laughs> okay. Hey. This one. This one. This one. Okay. Better. Okay. Put your shirt on. Put on my on my hand. Some on my hand. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. You got one. All right, here we go. Let's see the protest. Bye, Bill. Bye, Bill. Oh, it's separating. Bye, Bill. <laughs> this is my Taiki getting ready to jump into the water. Such a nice day. I think we're gonna be in this kind of boat. Pretty sure. We'll see. Pretty, pretty sure, yep. Yep, it is you, yep, yep. It's a song, say. Let me see the fun. I just got so. You want to just sit right here? Yeah. Oh, the second row, the second row, that's fine. Let's just sit right here. Yeah, the second row. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Okay, my name is Eric, I will be your guide today. Also, Michelle is going to help us today. Uh, let me introduce our captain, his name is Mike. Yeah! Oh, Mike. Yeah. He's a lot of lion here in the bay. He's the best captain. He's going to find a lot of whale sharks for us. And he's going to take care, of, of course, of our safety. Let's go, yeah? Sí, vámonos, vámonos. Remember, uh, whale shark is an animal that is in danger. There is a lot of rules that protect them. There is a lot of rules that protect them. One of these rules, unfortunately, is the number of boats that can be in the whale shark area at the same time. So uh, it's hike season. The last days we've been we have been, been waiting a lot, so uh, we apologize and uh, we hope you understand that it's always for the best interest to protect the whale sharks.
So uh, we're gonna go to ask uh, to the checkpoint to uh, say, hey guys, we're ready. And uh, then we know in weeks a uh, number of waiting lists we are. And we will know more or less how much we're gonna wait, okay? But remember, it's not in our hands. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah. So life jacket is mandatory. We have to wear it right now. So I will pass you uh, two life jackets, producer. He's uh, he got a little tight. It's wet suit. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. Oh my God! Look at him. Look at my tight. Okay. I need to do. Why? You do what? Oh, but take a toilet, Jake. Oh, but I need a shoes and toilet. I don't get to turn out. Same thing. No. You can try, but same thing. Hurt. Oh, oh, you mean same toilet? Then, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, okay. Is it that uncomfortable? Yes. Okay. Stream. Can you hear all our gear, life jackets? Whatever it is, well, and then everybody jumps in, and you're like just just hang up, and then oh, oh it's gone. <laughs> so, okay, it's up to you if you want to do that. Okay, just do it. Just do it. Peggy is eating his <coughs> energy bar while waiting for the well shot. He has been complaining about the wet, wet jacket. Always little problems. <laughs> As usual. Oh, that's dead. I think he's dead. Yeah, ask Yeah, ask him. Dig inside if there's a I think he's dead.
You can touch out it. Out of the water with the air, and they can die because of that. So we have a question. They have oh. their bad. What's that white thing? What's that white thing in there? Is it a shell? Oh, a piece of uh, dead fish, probably, or something like that. That's a shell. Oh. Look at this shell. It's a chocolate chip starfish. The what? It's called chocolate chip. Oh. <laughs> Go touch it. Oh, yeah, you want you want to take a picture of it. It's easy to
So it's the same rules, okay? You cannot be in the front of the mouth. Always focus on what you're doing, which is have our eyes on the wesha because sometimes the car can stand by the other side, so we need to step away. And uh, don't be here, focus on the sides. Don't touch. Enjoy and smile. Any questions? Good? Good. Okay, can you sit here for a second? Big one. Oh my god, look at the mouth. Yep. Look at the mouth. Oh yeah, dear, don't get Step. too close. Step. Oh my god. Step. Step. Yeah. Kobe, did you see it? Don't get too close. <laughs> I was in front of them. Hey, stay in the water. Right Look, it's right here. Come here. Look at this. Where are you going?
They touch us. They're not going to touch us. Watch out, we're going to take a little break. Yeah. We're going to take a little break and let the others get in. Oh, oh. 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 Oh.
That was a, that was so close. Okay, you gotta go. Ready? Ready? <laughs> yeah, go, go, go. I got so close to the bow. It took me. I was like. It took me five seconds to figure out that it was. Holy blood! They don't care about you. Yeah. That was hilarious. It was like right behind. Like you guys are gonna see. I don't know where you were peeing. You look like you were petrified. I know. I. Kobe, stay in the sun. Stay in the sun. Yeah. Put it on, put it on. What happened there? Yeah. 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 You want to continue? Oh, no, no. Okay, <laughs> Yeah. Big one. This one, that one that was over here was huge. Is this the same one? Holy moly. Oh my there, there, sir. Hey. He's gone. You're gonna do it on your own. This one's not that big. That is big as the other one. Yeah. How you get after the snorkeling? <laughs> oh my god. How do you feel? Tell everybody.
more, more. Okay. This is Mexican pizza, okay? That's it for me. Too much. We're making Mexican pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
y te ayudas con algo para que sea liviano porque va a venir para dejarte en la playa el tiempo que quieras. Okay. Oh, my dad is cool. 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 Oh, my dad is